hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today so without much introduction i'm going to be moving straight to the topic of today but before i go i want to say welcome to our new followers and thank you so much for joining please share this video and like the video so that youtube can show it to other people somewhere today i want to talk about how you can apply for a short stay visa to luxembourg or a schengen visa to luxembourg now this does not only include some certain category of people this is for everybody but again guys if you are an international who is looking for possibilities or ways to migrate to luxembourg and you are not getting the ways then this is one of the methods you can use but remember i think this method can only help you in case you enter luxembourg and of course you pick odoro i am not going to mention it here but for most of you you already know what odoro is but again let's keep it cage right it is a smart way if that is what you want then you should watch this video to the end if you are a student and you want to migrate you do not have enough money to push through then watch this video to the end because yeah i'm going to be telling you what you need to do first of all a schengen visa is a visa that permits you to enter every schengen country in europe and again remember this visa is a visa for less than 90 days which means that you cannot enter and stay in luxembourg for more than 90 days with this type of visa right excellent now this visa you can get it as a single entry visa or you can get it as a multiple entry visa remember i'm going to talk about everything that in, that involves here so please make sure you watch the video to the end now as a single entry visa you are only going to enter luxembourg once and when your 90 days elapse you leave or you leave early and you cannot go back also remember that if you take this visa in luxembourg and let's assume that you wanted to go to another EU country and you make a mistake and enter a non-EU country, you may not return back to Luxembourg and it is a problem for you with a single entry visa. Also remember that with a multiple entry visa, this procedure can work and you can equally use this method. Maybe let's say you leave Cameroon or Nigeria, you travel to Luxembourg, then you stay in luxembourg for maybe two weeks you come back to nigeria or africa you go again spend two weeks then you come back and you go again with this method with multiple entry you are superb and in the right direction also remember that with the uh, schengen visa i already told you that you cannot use it for after it's more than three months okay that's 90 days maximum then this rule also works in every six months duration which means that if you move to luxembourg now after three months you cannot go again if your visa expires after three months you can only wait after six months to go again that is the 90 days 180 rule which means that 90 days every six months that is what you can get now the visa fee is 180 not 180 but 80 euros and there is something called the service fee which is equally 40 euros and of course the total is going to be 120 euros like i said before which is equivalent to 78,000 cfa france cameroon money so you can convert to your own currency to see what you actually need to supply to the luxembourg embassy remember in most countries there is no luxembourg embassy in other countries you are going to be using the belgian embassy and in certain cases it is the tls contact who is going to be like the middleman between you and the luxembourg or the belgian embassy in this case so please make sure you check the belgian embassy in your home country if you are a cameroonian a nigerian a gambian a ugandan or whichever country you are coming from the procedure is the same now why are you applying for this visa what do you want to do in most cases you can go to luxembourg as an invitee if somebody in luxembourg invites you then they can send an invitation letter to you you enter luxembourg with the invitation letter and remember if they are inviting you in luxembourg you do not need to show proof of funds again the person in luxembourg is the one to supply proof of funds to the officials and there are certain forms he will fill in luxembourg 
and sent to you before you start the application in your home country this is very important and you must put this now what happens in the case when you do not have anybody in luxembourg what do you do are you not privileged to apply for the schengen visa of course you are privileged and you can apply for the schengen visa to luxembourg what do you do there are three options or four you either apply for conferences in luxembourg that's option number one or you go for business trips in luxembourg that's option number two or you go as a tourist or visiting a family that's option number three now for the case of visiting a family a family member must give you the invitation i mentioned before and if you are going as a tourist you can then just apply for a tourist visa and explain that you are going as a tourist but remember you must be going explaining to the visa officer the places the tourist attractions or destinations you are going to visit depending on the number of days you are going as a luxembourg as a tourist to luxembourg it's so important if you are going for business trips then you have to get documents from your business partners to prove to the embassy that you are actually going for business trips or if you are going for conference the conference letter is mandatory in this situation i hope you understand the visa for luxembourg takes maybe one to two weeks most of the time schengen visas or tourist visas or conference visas does not take a lot of time for europe these are the names you have to give them but when it comes to canada the general term for all these visas short stay visas to canada will last six months and you can get it for even 10 years it's called a visitor's visa that is for canada now what are the documents you need the documents you need include one the application form for the schengen visa then you also need three months pay slips from your company or from your job because these pay slips are going to prove that you are actually working and of course you want to go on vacation never you go on a tourist visa or maybe a schengen visa or a short stay visa if you are not working of course you must not work for somebody before you go for this visa you can equally go on a trip if you have your own business and can prove that you have your own business but remember the tax documents must be up to date so that the visa officer can actually understand that this business you are doing is legit and if you can show evidence of it now you equally need your international passport if you want to go on a schengen visa to luxembourg you need health insurance for the time you are going to spend in luxembourg and there is another video i did on this channel where i said you can get your insurance from swiss care and a whole lot of other companies like euro assist you can check them out check the embassy's website or luxembourg website then you are going to find all these details so please make sure you get and remember your health insurance is going to be valid for the time you are going to spend in luxembourg this is non-negotiable and you have to put all of this into consideration when it comes to the flight booking which is another set of document or another document you need to supply you need to get a round trip booking now remember you are not paying the ticket you are booking the ticket i think the most preferred agency i would say is the turkish airlines or you decide anyways you are going to find details on the website or the link i will drop in the video description box so please make sure you pay attention to that but i will advise you when you are doing the booking it's called reservation you reserve a ticket and make sure the dates correspond to the date on the application do not mix everything up it's so important now family ties document in case you are going to be moving to visit a family member in luxembourg you have to tell them to give you evidence if they are your sisters brothers uncles auntie but remember in this case a direct family member a parent or a sibling is preferable so you have to get evidence maybe birth certificate copies of passports copies of id card anything that can show ties to them then you are good to go also remember if you are going on on a tourist visit like you are not going to visit a family member you also need to prove that you are going to return to your home country and this is the case you have to provide evidence to show are you married do you have kids do you have a business do you have a job all these things they want to know if you can actually return back to your home country and like i said they know that most people they use this and of course they do not go back some of them take adoro or odoro if you don't know the meaning of odoro please comment below someone is going to let you know what that means so you have to put all of this into consideration and they constitute 
family ties or home ties then again there is a letter of introduction you need to get from your employer and this letter must state who you are what you do or if you have a leave letter and possibly maybe your salary expectation and also state when you are going to return to the company this is very important like i always say it is not good for you to go on a visit or tourist visit or maybe apply for a Schengen visa whereas you do not have a job. You cannot prove that you have a job. You cannot prove that you have a business because it also helps to tell the visa officer that you have things tying you back to your home country and definitely you will return back home. These are some of the documents. After you gather them, you can now submit your application and hopefully, hopefully, two to three weeks, you are going to get your visa and you move to Luxembourg. It is very important for those who are going on touristic purposes to note that they should try to defend themselves well because they might not be an interview, but of course, writing a letter to explain where you are going to is very important and where you are going to visit and the days that you are going to visit that particular place is very important i hope this video helps you till we meet again in another one